Well, it's August 1st, 2008, and um, this is one of the few times in in my life that I can recall, except for the year in Korea, that and when I was in Detroit, and when I spent some time down in Cincinnati and some 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 of the streets in Chicago. Anyway, <laughs> it's one of the times where I'm like. I'm not as scared as I uh, uh, would be had I been riding a Greyhound bus in Canada. And for those of you, a few that haven't heard, um, Vince Weguang Lee, a 40-year-old out of, out of uh, Edmonton there, or Alberta, Edmonton, Alberta, whatever, uh, went up to a 22-year-old man on the bus and stabbed dude 60 times, cut his head off, showed his head around, went back, and disemboweled the man. And the prosecutor actually asked for a psychological assessment. Now I'm not, you know, I'm not a psychiatrist, psychologist, or anything by any stretch. But um, I, I'm pretty sure that he's more than gone. You know, um, I understand getting mad and maybe pulling dude's headphones out of his ears because you didn't like the music that he was listening to. Probably The Cure or something. But to then go ahead and um, just uh, go ahead and cut his head off because, you know, he's listening to Hannah Montana. I mean, that's crazy. You know, I mean, I mean there's a lot of kids out there I'd like to rip their ears off for their taste of music, but I, I mean... It's obscene, and, and this man should die. There shouldn't be a need for uh, psychological adjust or uh, psychological evaluation or anything like that. He needs he needs an adjustment, an old-fashioned attitude adjustment, and one that he doesn't get to do anything else ever again. Yeah, this man needs to go straight to death row. He needs to die yesterday. There's there's no business for people like this in our world. There's, there's no need for them to rot away in any prison. That act right there is enough to say, yeah, you got to go. Sorry about your luck. You rolled snake eyes on the dice. You're out of here. And it was of his choice. I don't think he was forced to do that. I don't think he was forced to do it. I'd mean, be pretty warped if he was. But anyway... Um, yeah, that Vince Wee Guang Lee, whatever the hell, uh, you, you know. Yeah, he needs to die. And maybe, maybe I should whack off his family too. Just kill them too. Yeah. Because to produce spawn like that, man, your genes got to be hosed. You know what I mean? Maybe get his brothers, sisters, his kids, anybody like that, you know, associated with him. Maybe whack them out so he can't go out and uh, pollute the world anymore. Yeah, that's that's a gene pool that needs removed. Sorry. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's the one thing I, I want to think about. And, and the people on the bus, they, they thank them and all oh, were so glad that they were brave. They watched dude get stabbed 60 times. Nobody stepped up, nobody did nothing. Cowards. You know, you dive on them, you tackle them, you might get shanked once, you know, and, and maybe it does kill you, but you, you gotta save a life, don't you? But then again, this is Canada. You know? They're a little more laid back. They're, they're not as violent as us in America. Which is why something that violent happens there. Well, anyway. Uh, let me know your comments on this and what you think. And what you think should happen to this guy. And if it's other than death, don't really leave a comment. Because you need to cut your balls off and put them on a mantle somewhere. And turn in your man card. Alright? Well, this is a big ragu. You have a great day. Out.